Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Devotions this morning. The Lord be with you. We once again gather beneath the flags. I already mourned with a couple of Sean White fans and USA women's hockey fans. But the great news is that the Lord is with you. And he is also with me. (laughs) So blessings to you. Today we uh, celebrate uh, Ephesians chapter 5, verse 2. And we're going to sing a song to start uh, uh, devotions today. We're going to sing a song uh, that if you recognize this song, you were either in my living room late last night when I wrote it, or when I wrote this song last night, I ripped off a familiar song that you know and I don't. Uh, so we'll sing this song, and there are three verses, and I apologize because it's kind of hard to see through the flags. Uh, you can see every, <laughs> you can see every other word. Or if you want to move over on that side, it's a little easier to see over there. Uh, but the 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 song is a kind of a new songwriting venture for me, and that is writing here at Concordia and writing uh, for chapel and writing for uh, an institution. So uh, the third verse is "Walk in Love as an Institution." Uh, that's an incredibly Uh, ambitious goal for Concordia or for a Christian or for a Lutheran institution uh, today. But that's that's how the song goes. Often when I have written songs like this, they are only sung once, and then they're put on a shelf and never brought out again. So we'll see if this one uh, works, and if we do it 10 years from now when we do the theme Walk in Love again. But we'll sing the song, and then after that, a couple of brief thoughts on Ephesians 5 verse 2, and then I invited you yesterday Uh, to come prepare to share those three words, walk in love in whatever language uh, you feel led. I don't know how many of you are prepared to do that or if you want to try to do that, uh, but we'll take some time just to share that and and maybe to share uh, where you learned that or how you learned that, or if you just looked it up on the internet this morning, uh, that's more than fine as well. Let's begin with the word of prayer. Lord God, you are king of creation and you have called us to follow your son, Jesus, to the foot of the cross. You've called us to walk in the perfect love that is Jesus, uh, and that was his deed that was done for each of us. Give us courage, Lord, this day uh, to walk in that perfect love, even though there are reasons not to each and every day. You have called us out of darkness and into your glorious light. Be with us today, Lord, as we gather together to worship, to sing, to pray, to hear your word, to encourage one another in our walk. In your holy name we pray. Amen. All right, well, I'll sing the first verse. If you want to sing with me, we'll we'll repeat the first one, and then we'll sing uh, the next two together.
I didn't tell you this, but could you flip through a couple of uh, the next slides? Uh, let's read Ephesians 5 uh, together. This is our theme verse for the year. Uh, together. Therefore, be imitators of God as beloved children, and walk in love as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us, a fragrant offering and sacrifice to God. Okay, and a couple slides to follow. Uh, this is a special week to talk about walking in love. Raise your hand if you've ever been in love. Okay, put your hands down. Thank you. Uh, we know what it's like to be in love in the uh, romantic sense. Uh, most of you are aware that the word love has, has uh, more than one meaning in the New Testament. Uh, eros is uh, what we think of when we maybe think of Valentine's Day later this week. That's not the kind of love that's used in Ephesians 5 verse 2. Can you imagine if it was, if God was telling you, well, I guess he is. God is telling you in an area of your life. Um, but this is different. Uh, this is a different Greek word, and most of you know it. The word is agape. It is agape love, and we're called to walk in it. This is perfect, uh, selfless love that is God's love that we're called to reflect in our daily walk. Uh, next slide, Josh. Thank you. Um, and then in that love, we're called... <laughs> it's funny to watch you look at the screen. Sorry about all the flags in your way. Uh, we are called uh, to walk. And uh, why don't you throw the next, uh, next couple up, Josh. I just invite you to think about uh, the places you have been, uh, the footprints that you've left uh, all over campus, uh, think about a map of your footsteps just, just this morning, where you've been this morning. Uh, you've probably taken, I don't know how many footsteps already. Some of you have probably taken a, a thousand or more. I don't know. Uh, certainly in the course of a day, you take several hundred, uh, maybe even a couple thousand. Uh, and think of the course of your lifetime where God has brought your feet and who you have walked next to, who has partnered with you, uh, in ministry, who's been mentors for you. And now, as you grow older, you've been mentor, whether you know it or not, students, you've been a mentor walking in love for a lot of people. A lot of people uh, look up to you. Those of you who have served in churches on internship or those of you headed that way, um, older members of those church uh, look at you and walk with you on what it means to be loved and what it means to love in the name of Christ. Uh, and so as part of uh, walking in love uh, this morning and with our flags up and reflecting on uh, the gathering in Sochi of the many languages, what it's like to be in that community as a foretaste of the feast to come, uh, where, where we are gathered from around the globe, uh, yet we understand one another. I thought it would be fun to share this morning those three words. If you are courageous enough to share them in front of the whole group, uh, walk in love in whatever language, and then maybe how you know those words or how you looked up those words last night or this morning. If nobody shares, I'm prepared to share a couple. Maybe I'll do that anyway. But it, uh, would, if you'd be willing to raise your hand and share the words, walk in love in whatever language and how you know that phrase.
describe that word as walking uh, together, walking as one. So. Other languages. That's as good. Bob, you want to do yours too? Go ahead. Other languages walk in love. Awesome. And you heard the word agape in the Greek, uh, which we've already talked about. Jordan, you become a pastor and you sh- share what kind of Greek word that is 20 years from now, you'll blow the socks out of every pastor in the room. Be- you have to go to seminary, yes. <laughs> Other languages, walk in love. David? Amor. Okay. Yep. Which you see that Latin word reflected in a bunch of languages of what the word love in, in uh, French and other, other, other languages, yes? They walk in love in, in Japan, that is for sure. Other languages. <laughs> Sarah's working overtime. That is wonderful. Jackie, are you going to raise your hand next? <laughs> Walk in love. Okay, other, other languages. Go ahead, Sarah. You heard the amor from the Latin root again. Excellent. I was hoping Pastor Father would be here. I think this might be one of the first day he has missed chapel since he's been here from Portugal. But I have the Portuguese. It's another amor. Andai em amor in Portuguese. Uh, a, a, a West African language that I experienced in Nigeria called Hausa. Uh, Tefaya Chikin Kanao, walk in love. Polish Chodzik Mil- Milowski, probably not even close uh, to what it is in Polish. Uh, any other languages uh, to walk in love this morning? Okay, excellent. Uh, Yes, they walk in love in Hebrew as well. Okay. Uh, Well, God's peace, brothers and sisters. Why don't you come up, uh, Sarah, for prayers. Uh, And uh, we're reminded this day that as we gather here in St. Paul for worship and we walk in love, that we are not alone. Even though some days we can have 100 people, some days we can have a small group like today, we do not walk alone. But we walk in love together with... um, Hundreds and thousands and tens of thousands and millions and billions of those who have gone before us in time and those who will come after us who are called out of darkness into the light of Christ uh, to walk in love, to proclaim in love and word and deed Christ's mercy and grace until he comes again. Uh, Please rise for prayer.
Heavenly Father, we thank you that you sent your son, Jesus, um, to show us an example of love and to die for us, to show us the greatest example of love um, that he gave his son, or gave himself up um, so that we may live in love and walk in love and show that love to those around us. I ask that you be with our community today as we go about our day. Um, Help us to remember that love that you have given to us so that we can show it to those who may not know it um, who may, or who may especially need it. And we pray that you also be with those who are sick or who are healing, um, especially read Ride Pass Wife um, and for Miata Smith as they continue to heal from their illnesses. Um, and we know that there are others in our community who are sick or suffering or going through hard times We ask that you be with them, that you show them your love and give them hope and peace and comfort in these times. We praise you for this weather that you have given us. Um, We always praise you for it, but especially when we get glimpses of spring um, or at least somewhat warmer weather, that we can rejoice in the gifts that you have given us. Um, through nature and through your creation. And all of these things and more that you know that we keep in our hearts, we ask in the name of your Son, our Lord and Savior, who taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Now go in peace to walk in love and serve the Lord.